Welcome back. Our last guests today work hard to give Filipinos in the Bay Area a sense of pride and identity. Please welcome Eric Solano and Major Julian from the Parangal Dance Company. Did I say that correctly? That's correct. Yes. Parangal. Sure. Yeah. I love that Thanks word. It actually means tribute, which is uh, pretty fitting for what you do. Tell me about that. Well, yeah, so we, we started back in 2008. Um, we have a number of, uh, a, a diverse uh, membership of different talent, but, you know, and different ages and different uh, merit and job professionalism. But, and, but we all come here to, to do what we love, and which is, you know, dance and share and, share and educate dance and music and obviously the attire. And the attire. Yeah. Tell me about this because I'm loving it. Okay. The attire so we have today is actually uh, just inspired from the Otausog uh, from uh, Hulu Sulu. And what Major is wearing is uh, of the Maguindanao from Cotabato. Yes, it's yes. absolutely beautiful. Thank and you. you founded you founded the dance company and you actually traveled to the Philippines to do research. That's correct. So what we do is um, Every other year, uh, we spend about um, two weeks or three weeks to go to the Philippines, to the remote areas. And so far, um, since the group has started, uh, I've gone back to Mindanao, where there's a lot of, I uh, really love the culture there, and we get to learn. So what we do is we, um, um, so far, we, we've really been blessed to be in touch with uh, many indigenous or cultural master artists. And what we do is spend time with them to get to know about their dances. Not just so much about the dances also, but what they mean, mm -hmm. what, what it means to them, and what it means for them to teach us so that we, we can also uh, get back here and also share the information that we have learned from them in the Bay Area. And these are obviously some <coughs> of the dancers. Looks absolutely beautiful. Yes. Yes, this is uh, the Tosog picture uh, that we have um, taken um, for our up um, upcoming performance at the um, Ethnic Dance Festival. And um, here you'll see the different um, attires for, for the women and the men. For the men are wearing the biatawi, and uh, for the women are wearing the biatawi, and the guys here, or the gents, are wearing the, the bajulapi, which is what I'm actually wearing today. It's absolutely yes. gorgeous, I have to tell you that. Um, so you traveled to the Philippines to do your research. Within the Filipino community, I don't think many people realize, it's diverse even within the yeah. Filipino community, right? Yes, because the Philippines is made up of roughly 7,000 islands, you'll get that diversity of language and cultures. And like I was telling you before, like the food is very diverse too. Even though it's called the same thing in every region, it tastes different. And so, you know, some is spicier, some is sour, you know, some. And so just, they have a different palate. And so you, you, you learn to, it's sort of, it's a melting pot um, when you go out there and you, it's, it's, the diversity flourishes. Sure, so how do you choreograph these dances? So in terms of uh, <laughs> choreography, so we, as much as possible, because we do learn directly from the indigenous groups, so we maintain the, as much as possible, as close as possible to the movements that they have shared with us. But because we do perform um, here in, in, in the U.S. or in the Bay Area on stage, so what we do is we take the choreography based on the storyline that they have shared with us or legends mm -hmm. or rituals and from there um, we create the choreography more or the story that's made more for for the stage but at the same time what we do is we contact our um, resources and show them our practices our videos to make sure or pretty much we get the blessing if if are we portraying your culture the way that you have shared with us mm -hmm. and then that's how we continue to um, keep a relationship uh, communication going and make sure that what we present here is acceptable to them and also with our uh, company members as well that they get to learn and then we get to pass on by showing through the performances. And when you share this culture do you see that a lot of people get connected in the Bay Area because there's a big Filipino community here? I believe there are about 300,000 um, if I'm not mistaken okay. at least or more in, in, the, in the Bay Area. So what we do to share is our, what we have learned from the resources in Philippines is we, we provide workshops or we um, work with the universities such as USF or San Francisco State University and they have a Philippine Culture Night. So that's how we're also able to extend uh, our knowledge 
uh, b based on those uh, productions. That's that wonderful. Have. And you have private events and big public events as well. So thanks so much for coming on the show today to Thank tell you. us about it. And for more information on Parangal's dance workshops and upcoming events, log on to parangaldance.org. Again, that's parangaldance.org. And that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. And remember, the segments will be archived on Facebook. Have a great day.